Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com, a 100% free service for smart investors and traders. All we ask in return, please refer a friend. Today, we're going to be looking at trading the hammer reversal candlestick pattern. This is one of the strongest patterns out there. Um, I'm using a uh, several month, four or five month chart with uh, daily candlestick formations. You can also use uh, weekly candlestick formations. That would work as well. Um, but Based on the strength level of this, I would say it's uh, on par with uh, a bullish engulfing signal. So uh, it's, a, it's a lot of strength there. It's definitely something you want to learn to spot and trade. Okay, a hammer reversal, if you've already seen the video that we do on uh, our free website at PurposeDocalert.com talking about that particular candlestick formation, uh, then you already know what that is. If you don't, uh, let me show you real quick. It's a situation that looks like a hammer. You've got, a, uh, you've got one right here. You got a longer wick protruding from the bottom, typically no wick out of the top. Sometimes you'll have a small wick from the top, and sometimes they can be hollow or filled, like this one here is filled with a small wick out of the top. But the wick should be at least twice the length of the body. You've got another one forming right here, and then another one down here. Okay, uh, So what we're looking at is a hammer candlestick formation. That's what we want to see. Here's another one here. Okay, You've also got one here where the actual body looks more like a doji, uh, that would be acceptable as well, as long as the wick out of the top is very small. Um, the reason why it's acceptable is because uh, dojis are often found at tops and bottoms. Here you've got one at a top, and here you've got one at a bottom, so uh, that's fine too. It's still in line. Uh, it doesn't really matter whether they are filled or hollow. However, a hollow candlestick that shows that the open was here and, and the close at the end of the, uh, was at the end of the day, it's going to be stronger than one that is not. So that's important to note. What you want to do when looking for these reversal signals is look for a pullback and then they form. If you see you've got a down day right here and then uh, you've got kind of a hammer formation here, that's not the same thing. That's actually, if you actually had a perfect hammer formation at this level, it would be what's called a hanging man. And that's a sell signal. It's not actually a bullish reversal signal. You want to see uh, the advance, the pullback, and then the hammer formation. That's the one you're looking for. Okay, if you see a situation where you've got uh, I can't see one right now. If you got an advance and then a hammer, that's a hanging man. And like I said, that's a sell signal, not the same thing, and you don't want to be using those. One of the ways to check to make sure you're looking at uh, the right thing and using the right uh, candlestick is to look at your slow stotch. You can use different indicators, but I use the slow stotch. Uh, simply look for situations where uh, the slow stotch is pulled back down below the 20 line, and that will let you know where to start looking for those hammer formations and if you find one up at a higher point, you're probably not going to want to be messing with those. In very strong bullish uptrends, you will find that oftentimes the slow stocks will not pull back down uh, to the oversold condition. Uh, they're very bullish conditions, and that's, that's normal as well. But just be leery of, of trying to find one. Uh, if you think you see a hammer formation that's you know up there at the overbought condition, on an oscillator tool, then be more leery of that. Don't don't take that one. We're looking for a situation where we've had a pullback and then the reversal signal happens. Okay, so what is the hammer candlestick formation actually telling you as a trader? Uh, it's telling you there's support. There's a strong support at that particular level. So you have a sell-off and then you see a strong uh, candlestick formation of the, the hammer candlestick. You want to take this and analyze it and say, okay, this is uh, telling me there's support here, so what's going to happen? Either A, we're going to break down from support, or B, we're going to uh, continue in whatever trend we are in. And obviously, if you're in an uptrend, these are much uh, more effective to use you because you want to work with the trend. So if you're seeing an uptrend and you're seeing hammer formation, then you're dealing with a really strong trend, and that's something you want to take advantage of. So how do we use it? It's pretty simple, actually. Uh, you look at the candlestick formation, you find the low. In this case, we have a low of 2178. So this is where we're going to base our stop at. Okay, Our low, 2178, will be where the stop is set at, and it will be set one cent below 2178, because you could have a double bottom that wouldn't actually uh, be worth stopping you out. It could just be a double bottom, and then she bounces higher again, like we've seen here. So in this particular case, your uh, stop will always be set at one cent below the, the uh the low point of this candlestick. So 21.78 is the low, 21.77 is the stop. Here we're going to look at the close. That's going to be the highest amount of money that we're willing to pay uh, to trade in this particular environment. So right there is our level that we're willing to buy in. You can see that you had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
eight, nine opportunities maybe uh, to actually get involved in this trade before she headed up much, much higher. So that's an important piece of the puzzle to know. Know where your stop's at, know where you're uh, willing to do your buying at, and that way you can control the risk. You know how much risk is involved just based on the chart. You know I'm willing to pay, pay this much, I'm willing to get stopped out at this level, I know what it's going to cost me to play this game. Here in this particular scenario, we would set our uh, high point here as being the max we're willing to pay because our close wasn't at the high, so we were using the high of this candlestick. And that gave us one, maybe uh, part of one day to actually get involved with that trade um, before she took off on us. That's common too. They won't, you know, these are strong signals. You expect the price to respond uh, quickly. So uh, the following day, you could have been a buyer for a little bit of the. You know, first part of the morning and then she took off to the upside. Again, the stop would be set here, one cent below this low. The low is 23.23, so the stop would be 23.22. And that's our uh, target right here, is, or not our target, but our uh, stop loss limit. All right, so when do you exit? How do you know when to get out? There's a couple different methods you could use. Number one, you could look for a situation where the slow stock had gone from an oversold condition to an overbought condition, and then you're looking for your exit by simply advancing your stop loss limit to that level. Uh, and then if she broke down and started moving the other way, you'd be out. Another method, if you're in an uptrend, is simply to use uh, price targets. Now in this situation here, you've advanced, uh, hit a high, and then pulled back down and forms another one. So your price target would be, if you're in an uptrend, you're going to see higher highs and higher lows. So you're seeing higher lows, so you expect to see higher highs. So 25.87 is the previous high, so look for a test of 25.87. When you hit 25.87, you have reached your target and you can exit. Naturally, traders are going to say, wait a minute, what if she hits my target and keeps on advancing? I'm going to miss all of this extra move right here. That's true. And, you know, my objective here isn't actually to get into the very, very bottom or to get at the very, very top. It's to be safe and just make money on the trading. Um, however, if you wanted to continue to let it run, and sometimes that's a great idea, then simply advance your stop. Once she advances up here to the point that you're seeing a uh, target reached, take your stop that may have been here and simply advance it, simply to the low of that candlestick. Now if she continues to advance on you, that's great. Take your stop at the close of every day and advance it to the low of the next candlestick. And just continue to do that until sooner or later you will be stopped out. Not every hammer candlestick formation that you see will actually be uh, uh, effective. So in a, on occasion, uh, you're going to find situations where you will be stopped out. Here you were stopped out. Uh, but it should be watched because the hammer candlestick formation is telling you there's a support there. Uh, you may hit it, you may break through it, you may form another one later, and typically that's what happens. You will form another one later, uh, and you can use that one as well. In some cases, you will also have situations where the very following day, she takes off and gaps up above you, and you really don't have an opportunity to get in there. You might have been able to get in just for a nanosecond right here, but in some cases, you won't be able to do that. Someone's going to ask, can I chase it, basically? Can I just uh, buy it and leave my stop down here? Uh, if you feel comfortable with that, you know you know the risk-reward ratio you're willing to deal with, and if you feel comfortable with that, you can. However, I think you're increasing the risk when you start doing that. Finally, it should also be noted that when you're in a downtrend, as you see here, you were in an uptrend, making higher highs and higher lows, then all of a sudden you shift. You make a series of lower highs, and then here's our low point, Here's our previous low point. We take out this low, right? Actually shifting. And we took out this low as well. All right. And this low as well. Okay. So you want to look at those lows that have been taken out because your next target, if you're trading counter trend, which is in this situation, you're looking at a series of, let me clean that chart up. You're looking at a series of uh, lower highs and lower lows in this situation if you were to take this as a buy opportunity uh, as your counter trend trading which means the odds of the success are less and you have to know that you can't look at the previous high as your target because that's not going to work in a downtrend you want to look at the next resistance as being your target and in this case resistance will be situations where support has been broken and then turned into resistance there and there all right so in this case here, this move up here to this candlestick would have actually already triggered it uh, as far as the target goes. So in that situation, uh, you, you would have 
very little upside potential you know to, to count on if you could get in down here with a stop right here and then look for a move to at least test this point and some change to be made however uh, you know a lot of guys would just keep chasing and chasing and chasing thinking you're gonna test up here but it really depends on the trend you're in and whether or not you're gonna test a high now you know Please take a moment to review our disclaimer. The information provided herein is our opinion only. Under no circumstances do any statements here represent a recommendation to buy or sell securities or make any kind of an investment. You are responsible for your own due diligence. To summarize, we do not provide investment advice, nor do we make any claims or promises that any information here will lead to a profit loss or any other result. These videos are for educational purposes only.